Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at how to access your notifications as well as Control Center on the iPhone 10. Now typically on other iPhones what you would do is just swipe down from the top of the screen to access notifications and swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get into Control Center. But that's a little bit differently here because the iPhone 10 has the notch and it also has a gesture based control system. So now what we need to do is swipe down from the top left hand corner, that's going to be our notification panel. I currently don't have any recent notifications but if I did they would show up here. Swiping up on our iPhone 10 actually gets us to our home screen. So if I was in an application and swipe up, it brings me home. So now the way I access Control Center is to swipe down in the top right hand corner. And it's going to give me all of my Control Center options. Now you might also notice in the top of the screen with Control Center, my on-screen information kind of adjusts when I'm in here. So now my carrier signal strength as well as Wi-Fi and carrier name are in the top left hand corner. And then my battery percentage, my battery icon and Bluetooth are in the top right hand corner. And this is traditional with most iPhones except the iPhone 10. Notice that when I'm on my home screen in the top left hand corner is my clock, in the top right hand corner is my cell strength, my Wi-Fi icon or LTE if I wasn't on Wi-Fi, and my battery indicator. And the way that you actually get your battery percentage and any other icons is a swipe down and it's going to show you that. So I do have Bluetooth on. Notice that Bluetooth icon is up there. If I had an alarm set, I would see alarms. If I had, uh, say, do not disturb turned on, I would see that up there or even my actual lock screen indicator. So if I were to enable these options, you're going to notice those little icons will show up in the top right hand corner next to my battery indicator. So I have my screen locked and I have do not disturb turned on. And if I were to disable those, you're going to see those icons disappear. But what I also want you to notice is that when I enable these icons again and actually go home, I don't see those icons in the top right hand corner. I can only see those icons from my actual control center. But what's nice is now it's much easier to access control center or even notifications whenever I'm inside of an application. So if I open up Chrome for example and then swipe down from the top right hand corner, notice I still get my control center. And then I can take action such as disabling options and then I can swipe up to go home, swipe down from the top left hand corner and access my notifications. So it's a little bit different on the iPhone 10, but I find it much easier to do it when you're inside of an application than you were ever able to before. So that is how you access your notifications and control center on your iPhone 10. If you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to State of Tech for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.